I want to begin with breaking news involving raids at various buildings associated with the Dallas Catholic Diocese. A news conference is going to get underway at any moment at Dallas Police Headquarters. We will bring that to you once it happens. First, though, we want to go straight to CBS 11's Jonah Gavino. She is live at the offices of the Dallas Diocese with more on what's happened so far. Jonah. Ross, right behind me, there is a white cargo van backed up. Behind that, a Dallas police squad car. Officers have been here for hours. According to SNAP, the raid is in connection with a priest's sex abuse scandal. DPD has the entrances blocked here at the diocese. According to the survivors' network of those abused by priests, it's suspected that law enforcement raided the secret archives of the Catholic Diocese of Dallas. It was on the last day back in January when Catholic leaders here in Texas identified nearly 300 priests and other church leaders accused of sexually abusing children. SNAP said in a statement today, it's suspected that that list is incomplete. That that statement goes on to say, we hope that this raid today sheds more light on the clergy abuse scandal as it relates and will uncover the full truth of who knew what and exactly when they knew it. For now, we are live in Dallas. Yona Gavino, CBS 11 News. Thanks, Yona. And that news conference we mentioned is getting started. Let's listen in with Major Max Guerin. He previously worked in Dallas by the name of Edmundo Perez. This information came from the Dallas Catholic Diocese and the investigation of the allegations led to the issuance of an arrest warrant for Mr. Perez. Over the last several months, detectives have conducted several interviews with possible victims, witnesses, and suspects, as well as attending multiple meetings with the diocese and their attorneys. In addition to the allegations against Mr. Perez, detectives are investigating at least five additional allegations of child abuse against other suspects. These Excuse me, these investigations stem from additional allegations made after the case against Mr. Paredes became public. In furtherance of these investigations today, we obtained and executed multiple search warrants to collect any data or documentation of previous reports or records of abuse that may be held by the Dallas Catholic Diocese. The Dallas Police Department is working to complete a thorough investigation into each allegation independent of any other entity to ensure that each victim has a voice within the legal system. Our detectives have worked and continue to work thoroughly and, and very hard combing through the records, obtaining statements, and doing all, excuse me, and doing a thorough job to make this happen. Additionally, uh, we want to thank those who have come forward with information in these cases, and we would encourage anyone with additional information related to this or any other case of child abuse to contact the Dallas Police Department's Child Exploitation Squad at 214-671-4211. I will take some questions now. Max, this is highly unusual for um, the police department to raid the Catholic Diocese. Um, so did you not believe that they had turned over all of their files? Why did you guys decide to raid? Because they had said that they were cooperating. So, in looking through all of the investigations, um, we're in the business of uh, obtaining and executing search warrants in furtherance of criminal investigations. This uh, was a logical step in uh, uh, the process uh, for these allegations. Major, has the diocese cooperated? Uh, again, we have had uh, a number of meetings with them, uh, uh, characterizing that at varying degrees of cooperation. You, you, you could do that, uh, but again, I'll reiterate that, that we believed at this point that uh, the execution of the warrants was um, wholly appropriate for the furtherance of the investigation. Are there people priests who are under investigation? I'm, I'm not going to get into the potential identity of any victims, or excuse me, any suspects or any victims. Uh, these these were evidentiary search warrants, uh, and no arrests were made today as a result. Result. This is a natural progression of the investigation. All the locations where they were executed, besides from the location on the pond? So there were three locations that we uh, executed search warrant. One, uh, you're aware of the Catholic Diocese headquarters, uh, 3700 block of Blackburn Street. A storage location in the 4600 block of West Ledbetter Drive. And uh, the offices at the St. Cecilia Church uh, in the 1800 block of West Davis. Major, do you expect any arrests today? Uh, not today. Major, can you clarify the five allegations that are now related to other suspects? Are these from the list of those who were dead already, or are these new ones that 
the list that the Catholic Diocese released, many of those people on that list were dead. Are these allegations related to people who may still be alive? It's safe to characterize that, but I won't go any further uh, in uh, working to identify who the suspects uh, and or victims might be. What information is being looked at today at those three locations? What are you guys looking for? So again, uh, to reiterate, we're looking for any documentation, any data uh, that uh, uh, would tend to, to, to further the investigation into these allegations of child abuse. Do you think that obviously there are many more victims out there who just haven't come forward or just haven't wanted to cooperate, or is the Catholic Church paid off? Um, I have no way of knowing the, the number of uh, victims, and again, I would, uh, I would highly encourage anyone with information, anyone who might have been a victim, to, to contact us and give us the opportunity to investigate that. Last allegation. question. Major, are these recent allegations, how far back do these accusations go? So uh, I won't characterize or even address the, the time frame for the allegations uh, of when those offenses might have occurred, but I will say that they are new allegations that, that uh, became uh, apparent to us, that were made to us uh, following uh, the announcement of the charges against uh, Mr. Paredes. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Could you just take a... And that was Major Max Guerin with the Dallas Police Department uh, uh, briefing us on what happened today. Basically, a raid on three buildings associated with the Catholic Diocese of Dallas, the offices of the diocese, storage location, and St. Cecilia Catholic Church offices. The concerns are that there may be five other allegations of child abuse, and they're furthering the investigation. Uh, so they think that perhaps what has been given to them from the Catholic Diocese is incomplete, and so they're trying to further the investigation, and that's why they have the raid. Hope to find out more information about exactly where these allegations happened and, and how long they date back. Uh, we do know that they did say that uh, the, the priests are alive in this particular instance. So hope to find out more information as time goes on. Right. He mentioned no arrests made today. This was, uh, as he described it, a natural progression of their investigation. Robbie Owens is at that news conference. She's going to have much more coming up in our later newscasts.